And first at 11, a tragedy in Tennessee. A gunman opens fire at two military sites, and now four Marines are dead. The shooter, identified as Mohammed Yusuf Abdulaziz, is also dead. Tonight, team coverage of the shooting. Our Chris Pabst spoke with a relative of the gunman who lives here in our region. But we're, we'll start now with Tom Rousey, who has the latest on the investigation happening now. Tom? Well, Leon, that shooter, Abdul Aziz, was from Hickson, Tennessee. He was only 24 years old, and tonight authorities want to know why he did this. Brutally and brazenly attacked members of our, our armed services. Everything started a little after 10.30 this morning at a military recruiting center in Chattanooga. He lifted up his arms like this with a, a, a big black gun and just, it was one shot and then it was just endless shots, one after another, just unloading. You can see the bullet holes all over the recruiting center. An Army recruiter who was inside estimates 30 to 50 shots were fired. Miraculously, no one died here, but within a half hour, Authorities say Abdulaziz had driven to a Navy and Marine Center more than seven miles away and opened fire again. In all, four Marines were killed. Their names were not released. At least three others were wounded, including a police officer. As hearts break in Tennessee, authorities are focusing on Abdulaziz. He's now dead. Authorities won't say how. They want to know if he was a lone wolf or something else. Every one of our resources right now is devoted to fully investigating whether he was part of something bigger and if so, what? And along those lines tonight, the attorney general says she is directing the FBI to take the lead on the national security portion of this investigation. Reporting live in the Satellite Center, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Tom. Right now, there's no indication the gunman was on the radar of U.S. law enforcement in any way. But the 7 on your side, I team did some digging, and they found new details about the 24-year-old, including his job and a chilling quote in his high school yearbook. Tonight, 7 on your side, I team investigator Chris Pabst spoke with his cousin who lives in our region in Northern Virginia. Chris, what did he tell you? Well, Leon, the cousin lives in this apartment complex here behind me, that suspected shooter here in in Falls Church, Virginia. And he told me that he was shocked when he heard about what happened today. He also said that his cousin was a practicing Muslim who was born in Tennessee. And that does contradict what the FBI is saying. Federal investigators have identified 24-year-old Mohammed Abdulaziz as the man who opened fire on two military centers in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Four Marines were killed. Two others were wounded. He seemed like the all-American kid. I mean, he, uh, you know, never, never loud, never boisterous, never got out of line, um, hard worker. It's been reported that Abdulaziz graduated from the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga in 2012 with a degree in electrical engineering. Before that, sources say he wrote in his high school yearbook, quote, my name causes national security alerts. What does yours do? When I heard it, you know, I, I mean, literally there were tears in my eyes. I'd, he, he was one of the nicest kids that we, we trained there. His home, which is just a few miles away from the shootings, has been sealed off. Federal law enforcement officials say Abdul Aziz was born in Kuwait and has been a naturalized U.S. citizen. His father is from the West Bank. He is not on any terror watch list, and the FBI was not aware of him having any terrorist leanings. Though officials point out that as recently as this weekend, ISIL has been urging its followers in the U.S., to kill uniformed police and military. Now from here, authorities will check the suspect's computer and also his social media accounts looking for any type of motive. It's also worth pointing out that ISIL has been calling for lone wolf attacks in America during the month of Ramadan, which ends tomorrow. Live in Falls Church, Chris Pabst, ABC 7 News.